Fast-moving lava from Hawaii's Kilauea volcano forced new emergency evacuations overnight. The most active fisher is shooting molten rock hundreds of feet into the air. Lava has now destroyed 112 structures, including 71 homes. Carter Evans is in Pahoa, Hawaii, where an important roadway was just blocked. Carter, good morning to you. Good morning. You can see this tremendous fountain behind me right now. It's blasting lava up to 200 feet into the air. This is the most active fissure right now. It's producing massive lava flows that have cut off major highways, shut down a power plant, and destroyed dozens of homes. The 2,000 degree molten rock exploding from the ground is creating rivers of lava that continue to devastate this community and literally change the landscape. One of the first things you notice when you're standing next to a lava fountain this big is the intense heat. I can feel it radiating on my back. It's probably more than 100 degrees here, but much of this lava is already cool enough to walk on. The lava forced the closure of Highway 132, a major artery for people who live here. It also leads to the main access road for the area's geothermal power plant. Meanwhile, health authorities are warning of a new hazard. It's called Pele's hair. It's like glass, it's fragile, it's lightweight. As Marianne Farrell got ready to leave her home in Leilani Estates for perhaps the last time, she showed us the rocks with glass fibers that can irritate the skin and eyes and lungs if inhaled. This stuff is, is all over. It's all yes. around your house. All over my catchment. It's raining down. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of when you see this? <sighs> it's over. <laughs> Chris Burmeister says he's seen his Leilani Estates neighborhood go from a lush jungle to a moonscape. Can you try and explain the, the force that we're looking at here? <sighs> There's nothing like it. Uh, it's definitely Mother Nature recreating. So we're at her mercy. Because there are still so many active fissures right now, there's really no word on when any roads might reopen, if at all. This eruption has been going on for almost a month right now, and scientists aren't offering any predictions for when it might end. Nora? All right, Carter Evans in Hawaii, thank you.